Hey guys, welcome to day one of Booktubeathon. I'm so flippin' excited because I've been looking forward to this for well, only a couple of weeks. Actually, no, I've been looking forward to this this whole year, but I've been really, really getting so excited over the past two weeks, and I'm just like, can't wait, and I'm just so happy that it's finally here. Actually, <laughs> I just remembered that last night, I literally kept waking up in the middle of the night because I was like, I need to start reading. <laughs> And I kept checking the time and I was like, oh wait, no, it's not time to wake up. Which I guess I could have started at 12am last night, but I'm not about that. And also I had work today, so, you know, <laughs> I didn't really want to do that. It is 1.53 and I have finished work for the day. Luckily this week I'm going to be able to finish work early, depending on how much I have to get done. So today I am finished, which is really exciting. And yeah, so I'm just so excited for my reads. So this morning I started by listening to the audiobook for To Kill a Kingdom. So I was listening to the audiobook while I was getting ready, while I had breakfast, while I had lunch. My plan for this week is to listen to my audiobooks at any waking moment. <laughs> AirPods are a lifesaver for reading because I can just listen to my audiobook whenever I'm doing anything, doing chores, cooking, anything like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully I will be able to finish seven books this week. If I do, that will be because of my audiobooks. So thank goodness for audiobooks. Anyway, so yeah, I started this and I'm on page 133, so I'm actually nearly halfway through, which is really exciting. So I don't think I'll finish this today because I'm just going to listen to it while I have dinner and while I'm doing other things, but I think I'll finish it tomorrow, which is really exciting. Also, I just wanted to show that I have created this little checklist for Booktubeathon, so I just did my little Booktubeathon TBR. So it has all the reading challenges and I put this little Kiki sticker because... She looks freaking determined, and that's what I'm going to be this week. I'm determined to finish all seven books. So, <laughs> I just, I really think I can. I think I can do it. And if I do, oh my gosh. <laughs> For my physical book, I'm going to pick up this Savage Song. Let's see how long it is. 417. Okay, so I think I'm going to have the realistic goal to get halfway through this today because I'm just going to read for the rest of the night. Obviously you need to have dinner and stuff like that, but okay, so the realistic goal will be halfway. My ambitious goal is to finish this today. We'll see. I obviously have to see like how long it takes me to get into it, how I mesh with the writing style and everything. That'll obviously determine how quickly I fly through it. If I get at least halfway through this, then I'll be happy. Um, but before I start reading, I actually have... Oh, sorry, I'm just so excited for this week. I have a few fun things planned, and I'm really excited. Anyway, so I have a few packages that I wanted to open because I've been waiting, because I didn't vlog last week. If you're new here, I do weekly reading vlogs every week, so I just realised I didn't even tell you my thoughts on To Kill a Kingdom. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts so far. The audiobook is amazing, so captivating. The narrators really suit the vibe of the story. And we have two narrators because it's two different perspectives, so that's amazing. So in the beginning, I was hooked straight away. It's just, you just get into it really quickly. And, and I'm just loving this dark mermaid story. I just love how dark it is. It feels like a really classic fairy tale book, but obviously with a really dark twist. I was really loving it in the beginning. The story did take an unexpected turn. I don't think I'm loving it as much as I was in the beginning. I am still really enjoying it, but my enjoyment has gone down just a little bit just because it, yeah, it, it took a different turn as to what I was hoping. But yeah, I'm still enjoying it and I'm still loving these Dark Mermaid vibes. So we'll see how my thoughts change as the story progresses. I really hope I'm going to love this Savage Song. I really think I will. This will be my first Victoria Schwab book, which is just so exciting. And I'm literally planning to read three Victoria Schwab books this month because I'm going to read this and Vicious during the Booktubeathon. And then I'm going to read A Darker Shade of Magic or the A Darker Shade of Readalongs this month. So I'm really excited. I hope I love her. Obviously, I'll be, that'll be super awkward if I don't. But I feel like I will. Like, I've read a short story of hers, and I really loved it. Like, I loved her writing and everything, so I think I'm going to love it and all her other books, so I'm just so excited. And this really focuses on music, which is really cool. Obviously, this is a song. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited. But, yeah, so I'll open the package now. So this book, I can't believe I haven't got it yet. This is actually my first time seeing it in person. I'm sure some of you are surprised that I haven't bought it yet because... Ooh! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's beautiful whoa <laughs> this obviously came out a few weeks ago I can't believe I haven't bought it yet I was waiting to buy it in person I haven't had time to go to the shop so I just ordered it online <laughs> yeah it's here and oh, this is the Chamber of Secrets house edition and it's beautiful oh, I honestly can't get over it before the Philosopher's Stone house editions I actually bought every single 
house <laughs> because I just loved all of them. But obviously that's going to get really expensive if I try to do that for all seven books. So I think I'm just going to collect the Ravenclaw ones for the rest of the books. But I'm just so happy they're doing this because it's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and there's this exclusive Ravenclaw common room illustration in the back. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just love this blue. Like, that is the perfect blue. I, I'm so excited to have this, like I said, 10 times. <laughs> anyway, so also, I have my Owl Crate box to unbox because I was planning to do an unboxing, like a separate unboxing, but by the time I film and edit that, it'll probably be like next week, and I feel like that's too late. So, I think I'm just gonna open it in this vlog. So, I think I'm gonna go outside and do it because it's quite good weather today. So, it'll just be nice to open it outside. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, wait, I just realised I forgot to tell you something so important. I got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child tickets. I'm so excited. So finally, the play is coming to Melbourne next year and um, they were releasing priority access tickets today. So I obviously signed up to get the priority access and I waited online for like two hours and I was really stressing out. I was like, am I going to get them? But I got them and I'm so excited. So my boyfriend and I are going to see The Cursed Child. Oh, it's going to be amazing and emotional and... I'm just, I'm, I'm just so happy. Like, I literally thought this night would never come. <laughs> I've been waiting years. <laughs> I'm actually one of those rare people who like The Cursed Child. Like, I know a lot of people don't like the script, like, when they just read it without seeing the play. But I actually loved reading it. Um, I kind of just separate it. I don't think it's the eighth Harry Potter book. <laughs> but I just think it's, like, a fun thing. And obviously it has potholes and, like, the characters act different and stuff. But I just, I just, I don't know. I just find it really fun. And I love Scorpius, so I'm just so excited to see it. And, oh, it's gonna be magical. But anyway, let's open the owl crate box. Okay, let's test out this lighting. No, it's not good. <laughs> Scuffy, say hi. He wants to know what's inside the owl crate box. Are you my best friend? Mm. Yeah, I was gonna open it here, but I don't think this is the best lighting. So I'm gonna try and find somewhere else. But gotta give Scuffy a little scratch. He's so annoying. I'll stop and then he'll get pissed. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't film it outside. <laughs> I feel like this lighting is sucky. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go back into my room because I can't find good lighting. What a dog. Okay, so I'm in my room because I couldn't find good lighting outside. Let's open the Alco box. Also, I just saw that the Booktubeathon Day 1 video challenge is now up. So after this, I'm going to watch that video and then try to do my first challenge. <laughs> Let's open it. Oh my gosh, okay. So this month's theme is strange and unusual and I am living for this artwork on the spoiler card. Okay, so I'm obviously not going to read the spoiler card because I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> I'm going to face it the other way and then just grab things. Ooh. So we have this little banner that says stay peculiar which I'm obviously guessing is from What's it called? Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. That's really cool. So I think you just kind of um, hang this up. I don't know how. Actually, wait, no, there's like all these little things. Surely you have to tie it. Oh, maybe you tie it to a pole like a little flag. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so it is inspired by Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and you can pin this on your bedroom wall. So I guess you could like tie it to a little, maybe I could tie it to like my bed post or, I don't know, I'll find, I'll find a place, but that is really cool. Do you like the book Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children? I'm not obsessed or anything, I just found it okay. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh! So this is a Funko Pop keychain and this is Eleven, who is definitely one of my favourite characters. From Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things so much, so I'm really excited to have this. I'm definitely going to be putting this on my keys. Or on my bookshelf at least. Let's see. Oh gosh, she's so cute. She has the blood dripping from her nose and the little waffle and her iconic pink outfit. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, is this like a little... Oh okay, it's just mints. I was going to say, is this a mini Ouija board? Because I'm going to have to throw that out. <laughs> Because I'm scared of owning a Ouija board. So I think this is just mints. It says mystifying mints. And it's in this cool little container that looks like a Ouija board. That's really cool, actually. So I wonder what this is inspired by. Okay, so I don't think this is inspired by a specific book or anything. It just says, These Ouija board mints from Boston America Corp may not let you speak with the dead, but they sure do taste yummy. That's really cool. 
and I always love mint, so... <laughs> Ooh! So we have these little skull push pins. I wonder if this is inspired by anything. I don't actually have a pin board, I probably need to get one. Oh, these are pretty cute. This isn't inspired by a book, but this is created by Alcrate, which is cool. Okay, next we have... Is this a wallet? Whoa. The head is 100... Oh my gosh, this is literally a wallet. That's really cool. We haven't got anything like this, I don't think. That's really cool. I probably won't be using it, to be honest, because it's a bit chunky, but it's still really cool. It says, the head is 100 <laughs> wise, the heart is all fire. Is that what it says? This is from the Raven Cycle series, and it's designed by Reverie and Ink. The head is Uwas? Oh, two. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm stupid. It says the head is two wise, the heart is all fire. <laughs> I thought it said a hundred. I do like that print. Maybe I'll just display it on my bookshelf. We'll see, but that is cool. I love the Raven Cycle, even though I haven't finished it. I'm currently reading The Dream Thieves. Oh, I like this pin. So this is the pin, the Owl Crate pin that matches the spoiler card. And I really love skulls, so I really love that pin. And we have... Oh my gosh, I forgot about the book. I don't even know what book it's going to be. Oh my gosh, this is a really cool print. So this is a whimsical art print, and it doesn't say it's inspired by book series. It's interesting, we have a lot of items not inspired by any books or, or book series, but this print is really cool. I kind of do have a slight fear of whales, <laughs> just because I watched Pinocchio like a million times, but I do really love the colours and everything, and that is definitely a stunning print. Okay, so let's see what the book is. I'm really excited, I honestly have no idea. Okay, so of course as soon as I go to pick up the book, my camera says it needs to cool. <laughs> but I haven't looked at it yet, so I'll show you guys first. Is it exciting? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually really happy about this because I've heard really, really good things about this series. I don't know if it's a series, companion series thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And this is a cool cover. It's definitely spooky. This green is like the classic, like... You know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. So I think the first one is My Lady Jane, which um, Hayley from Hayley and Bookland always talks about and says it's really funny and it's like historical fiction. Wow. This is signed by all three authors. That's amazing. And whoa, twice? Oh, I think I... Oh, I think my copy accidentally has two pages of their signatures. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love these pages. I love when books have these pages. I don't know if you can see. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to like this and I'm excited and I'm happy about this. So that's really exciting. Then we have the little note from the authors and we have... Ooh, that's cool. We can do this little diorama. Oh my gosh, that is really cool. This is to do with the book, so it says Thornfield Hall Construction Instructions. So this is a little cool DIY thing. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm happy with this book. Yes, yes. Okay, so I think that's all. So I think we must just have the little booklet. So we have the little word search and a little interview with the authors. We can see the difference in the covers. So we have the Alcrate version, which is obviously the purple with the green writing. And the regular is blue with the yellow writing. I don't know which one I prefer actually, but I think this definitely suits the theme of the box. So I'm happy to have this. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Anyway, so... Oh wait, jokes, we have some more. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, so we have this Luna Lovegood sticker. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. And it says, you're just the same as I am, and she's holding the quibbler. And there's a little book that says, it's the Nargles. Okay, oh my gosh, I love this sticker. This honestly might be my favourite thing in the box. Actually, what is my favourite thing? Well, obviously I'm really happy about the book. But apart from the book, I actually think, yeah, this sticker is my favourite. <laughs> because I just love it. Okay, well, look how stunning the art on this is. So this just says that the theme of the August box is Ruthless Royals. Okay, I'm really happy with this box. It was kind of weird how we had a lot of items not inspired by specific books. Kind of hope they don't continue with that because I, I like when things are inspired by books. But I, overall, I am really happy with this box and I'm excited to have that book now. So while my camera was cooling, I just quickly watched um, Haley's video for what the video challenge for today is. And I'm kind of nervous, <laughs> so I'm going to try. So basically we have to, which by the way, she said it's inspired by the show Art Attack, and I definitely loved that growing up. <laughs> that was an amazing show. But anyway, so basically we have to get um, items from around the house, 
and try to recreate a book cover. Okay, so I'm going to try and gather my supplies and choose which book cover while listening to my audiobook, of course. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and do it. So <laughs> let's see how I do. Okay, so I'm going to do this video challenge here. So I'm going to try and recreate a book cover and try to guess what it is while I'm doing it. <laughs> so we have to do a five minute time limit. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. show you guys and you can see if you can guess it <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the book cover so let me know what you think it is down below and then see if you're right so I'll give you two seconds to do it I'll pause this video <laughs> so the book cover is <laughs> carry on by rainbow Rowell. <laughs> like that's supposed to be Simon and Bass <laughs> and I use these boots to try to have the building of Watford <laughs> I actually think it's okay <laughs> I love this book, so this this is a good time to mention that if you haven't read this book, you need to read it. <laughs> yeah, so that's my challenge. Let me know how you think I went. I won't be offended if you said it was sucky, because... But, you know, I'm actually happy with that, so... Okay, so I'm going to clean this up while listening to my audiobook, of course, and I'll check in with you in a second. Okay, so I just finished cleaning it all up, and usually in my weekly reading vlogs... If you watch them, then you know that I do the blackboard quote at the beginning of each reading vlog. So I still wanted to do that today, even though this isn't going to be a weekly reading vlog. Because I did get some really amazing quotes, so thank you so much. And please leave some quote suggestions for me to do next week when I get back to my weekly reading vlogs. So let's just do the quote on the blackboard. Thank you so much Tom from TJ Reads the Stars, I absolutely love you for suggesting the quote I may not have wings but I have the next best thing, a bookshelf. <laughs> so let's hang it up. So what time is it? It is 3.05. I really need to start reading my physical book but before that, um, because I'm vlogging every day, I obviously need to edit every day. So this week I'm going to try and edit my vlogs throughout the day, so bit by bit, so it won't just be really stressful at the end of the day. So I'm going to edit all the clips that I've done so far. Then, once I've done that, I'm going to start reading this savage song. Oh my gosh, I actually am so pumped. <laughs> okay, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to edit and then read. I just finished editing. <laughs> editing always takes me so long. My plan for this week was to have like 10 minute vlogs every day and now I'm pretty sure it's like at 20 minutes. <laughs> so that's a concern. Yeah, so it's 5.28 so I'm actually going to get into my PJs. So I'm fully comfy and then I'm actually probably gonna eat dinner because, because I just want to have as many hours of uninterrupted reading time. So I'm going to be listening to my audiobook while I get in my PJs get all comfy and then eat dinner while listening to my audiobook and then after that i will read finally well i've obviously been reading listening to my audiobook but i just can't wait to physically read and i can't wait to start this average song so yeah hopefully not every day will be 20 minutes long <laughs> because that is a lot of editing but i think it's just because obviously i did the alcohol unboxing but anyway <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh, I nearly slipped. That was absolutely terrifying and that would have really not been good. You weirdo. <laughs> so I'm up to page... It's actually... In... <laughs> it's actually interesting because it has Roman numerals as the page numbers, so they're really testing my abilities. <laughs> so I'm on page 13. And so far I'm already loving it. After only 13 pages, I'm really hooked already and the writing style is really easy to read So I think I can really get through this quickly. Oh, even the chapters are in Roman numerals. Oh, that's a factor the That's writing really style. cool. Oh, yeah, because if it's like really dense then it'll take longer to read, you know. Oh, right I um, thought you... <laughs> But also I just... thought you were talking about like the font <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess also the font like if it's really small, I really don't like it. <laughs> I'll leave Mandarin just leave. Whoa, 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 whoa Oh my gosh, we're wearing matching PJ pants. <coughs> yes, I have cool PJ pants. Mine oh, they're both from Peter Alexander, I just realised. Mm. Let's do our little dance. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Okay, the camera died, but I'm going to make myself a tea. Oh, perfect timing. Did you hear that? I have my really cool mug. Why was the camera too hot? The, the temperature too high? Because I was filming. Our pants were way too hot. <laughs> it's a heat changing mug. How cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a cool <laughs> shot. What are you eating? I'm trying to get a cool shot. What are you eating? I'm trying to get a cool shot. What are you eating? I'm trying to get a cool shot. What are you eating? I'm trying to I got this from the Disney store in New York. Oh, did you? You were there, Thomas. Oh, I didn't know you got that one in particular. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to continue reading. No, this is a read fun. It's not called a drink of tea a thon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's a Tim Tam-a-thon. I'm not having a Tim Tam. Yeah, well, I am, so it's Tim Tam-a-thon. Oh, isn't that an Australian thing? Maybe some people find this interesting. Yeah, Tim Tams <laughs> are the bomb. It's okay, but it's not my favourite. His face is offended. I just wanted to update that I already love August. Like, he's amazing. He's obsessed with books and he wants to learn, like, everything ever. And I feel like he's a Ravenclaw just from that, but obviously I need to get to know him more. It says the only other thing in his room besides furniture and books was a violin. Okay, he's amazing, so yeah, I just had to update that. I love the violin. Anyone who can play it, I automatically have a plus sign, like, from Sims. <laughs> Anyway, Penny's making me a milkshake. Oh. Okay, so I'm making mine first. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh. What weirdo wants a caramel milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> what? Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like your hair. Thanks. A little like fun little dinner like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, turn around. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. It's just a little fun little look, you know? Yeah, like, <laughs> you think it's just a regular paint palette. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so it's 10.21. I have been reading this Savage song, and, well, I feel like I look really tired. I am quite tired. I have been reading this Savage song, and I'm on page 213, so I'm officially halfway through the book. That means I achieved my goal of getting at least halfway through, and... Oh, I am freaking obsessed with this book. I honestly, I honestly can't like express. It's been quite a while since a book has captivated me so much, like a new book, because obviously I've had my Harry Potter rereads and everything. But yeah, it's been quite a while for a new book to just completely transport me into the world, make me forget about reality and just completely be in this world. And oh, this whole world is just so fascinating and the characters are so complex and I love August and Kate but especially August I relate to him in so many levels and he is just he's amazing the writing I just love Victoria Schwab's writing I cannot wait to read all her other books and I can't wait to read Vicious oh my gosh I'm just so happy right now like oh. I'm so happy. I don't know when I would have picked this up if it wasn't for Booktubeathon because if you watch my TBR, I wanted to read this because so many people were reading it last year for Booktubeathon. So I'm just so happy because oh, I just like my heart is so full. I love this book. It's so good and it's just so dark and ca captivating. Like I've already said. Oh, 
it's amazing. At this point, it's definitely a five star read. I've already tabbed so many scenes and really amazing quotes. For example, on page 149, the beautiful thing about books was that anyone could open them. I love, I love this book. I love this book. Oh, it's so good. Oh my, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't get over it. Anyway, so I do really want to keep reading this, but I am getting really tired and I still need to finish editing this video and I feel like I have way more clips that I still need to add. I feel like this vlog is going to be like 30 minutes. So yeah, like I said, it's 10.24, so I just need to clean up downstairs and then have a quick shower and then edit and schedule this reading vlog. I am going to do that while listening to my audiobook. Yeah, I'm just so happy right now. I feel like I've done quite a lot of reading today. I feel like this is a good start to Booktubeathon. So I'm going to clean up downstairs and have a quick shower and I think I will update you on my final reading for today and then edit and then obviously go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, so I'm out of the shower now and I am not going to be doing any more reading tonight because I'm just going to go in bed, finish editing this vlog and then go to sleep. So I'm going to wrap up my reads for today. So today I got up to page 204 of To Kill a Kingdom and I am really enjoying it. It did go slightly like... <laughs> so at the beginning I really was like, whoa, this is amazing, like super captivated and I thought you know it had the potential to be a five star read but then it just it just slightly went downhill <laughs> it's still really enjoyable but it just it's not as good as what the beginning kind of set it up to be and I found out that it actually is a dark retelling of The Little Mermaid so maybe I should have had that expectation going in because there's definitely more of a romance thing going on that I wasn't really expecting. I am still really enjoying it so I am excited to finish this. I'll definitely be finishing this tomorrow hopefully while I get ready in the morning. And for this Savage Song, like I said before, I'm absolutely adoring it, loving it, it's everything. And I am up to page 213 so I also hope to be finishing this tomorrow and then starting Vicious which would just be such a nice little Schwab day tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with my reading for day one of Booktubeathon and I think I'm on the right track to hopefully get seven books done this week which is super exciting so yeah. If you're participating in Booktubeathon let me know how you're going. Are you happy with your progress? what books you're reading, everything like that. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good day or night and I'll see you tomorrow in another Booktubeathon vlog. <laughs> bye! I feel like I never say bye, so it's all good. Bye! <laughs>